Welcome, Aries, to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview, March 1st to the 15th of 2023. As I was getting into the Aries energy, I really felt as if there's going to be some sort of spiritual experience that leads to peace. Whether this be a peace in love, romance, relationship, or career and finance, I, I actually feel as if they overlap. I feel that it overlaps. Um, I feel that your prayer life, uh, your guardianship, if you've been praying for that protection, uh, for some of you, it's organization, it's focus, organized discipline, uh, and you're getting it in line. You're getting it together. This peace, uh, this, this sense of peace is going to help you feel that. Trust issues. Oh, with the Aries, major trust issues. Either others cannot trust the Aries or the Aries has just been through so much that they can't trust others. Um, again, I feel that this is going to somehow resolve itself. Many of you have been praying about something and it's going to come forward. Uh, it's going to come forward and you're going to know that you know that it's what you're supposed to be doing. And I feel that that is with career and finance too. I feel that you know that you know that this is uh, validate. You're going to keep getting validations, uh, synchronicities, coincidences, and you're going to know that you're on the right step. Uh, I feel that there's a wedding, a celebration. For some of you, the anxiety may be just completely overwhelming. And it could be about the finances. Fear not. There's the finances. It's right there with you and for you. So uh, you need to let that fear go. Fear is false evidence appearing real. You need to let that go, Aries. What does the Aries need to know as they're listening to this video pertaining to love, romance, relationship, March 1st to the 15th of 2023? What does the divine have in store for thee? Okay, you got a lot going on when it comes to relationships here. I feel as if you need to resolve some of these past issues. And you can, you can maybe let some of these people go. Let some of the situations go. Stop carrying all these people around with you. I feel that you have the ability to really make things happen here, Aries. Isn't that ironic? It is the king of wands. And look at, uh, I feel that you, you could really make things happen. And you will. What, how you live, where you live, who you're living with, major change is happening. Now, I get it. This will not apply to all the Aries, but it does to many. I appreciate the private reads, the likes, shares, and the subscribes. Uh, <laughs> either this is your third time around, Aries, or this is your third try with this particular person, there's some kind of celebration. And I got to tell you, some of you are going to be celebrating because you're out of that relationship, Aries. Oh, and here's the validation of that, the King of Swords. Cutting that right off because there's no way that you're putting that ring on your finger or that commitment in your heart. Aries. Oops, I was, love romance relationship. Look, things are going to be happening, and they're going to happen really quickly. Very, very, very quickly. And here we have the strength. And when I see that strength, you're going to have the strength to do what you need to do, and you're going to get through. And with it, you're going to have divine guidance. So, again, you either will cut off a person or a way of life or a thought, or this could be just who you used to be this time last year has now changed. And these three cards came flying out of the deck and we have the strength card. Look at that. That's you, Aries. You definitely have the strength. And we have the five of swords. Yeah, absolutely. You, you you're going to cut these people off, this person off. Um, it could be a group of people. 
You're just, their thoughts are not your thoughts or the way you think. So there you go. And the chariot. When this all starts to unfold, I just heard the word publicly, um, it's going to unfold quickly and furiously. And I feel that this, in a good way, it's in a good way. Okay. Career finance, Aries. Career finance, Aries, March. First to the 15th of 2023. What does the divine have in store for these? Eight of cups. Mm, that eight is coming out again. You're getting your money from more than one source. The eight of cups, you know, and those of you that know me, I'm a psychic medium. I just got introduced to cards. So I actually look at the, the pictures and the card <laughs> and to validate kind of what I was intuiting at the beginning of the read. This eight of cups, there's a lot of emotion. So you've planted a lot of seeds with this money, with this help. Um, and it's coming back. It's coming back to bless you financially. You're going to orchestrate this, Aries. Where this money goes. You're going to orchestrate where this money goes. Mm -hmm. And again... You're watching and seeing. This is love, romance, relationship, and the Knight of Swords. Again, just cutting off. A, it could be a certain way of thinking. Maybe you were headed for a divorce, and now you're not. Uh, maybe you everything was fine this time last year, and now there is this separation. You need to trust. Make sure you journal. If you need to talk to a professional, please do. To make sure your heart and your mind is clear with the divine. Uh, finance. Aries. Wow, that came flying out of the deck. You're going to be cutting off major debts. Major debts. You're going to be cutting off major debts, Aries. There, this is a, a good time for you financially. So here's the Ten of Cups. And that to me is uh, emotion, happy, family. Look at them. They're all rejoicing and all happy and good stuff. I got to tell you, I really feel that you're in a good space right now, Aries, when it comes to love, romance, relationship, whether, because you're getting your heart and your mind. You're, you're getting what you really want, what you desire here. I, I really feel that you're going to go through this spiritual experience. Everything's going to line up. Your peace will be with you. So you're going to be able uh, to make decisions that bring you peace. I started asking about the shadow sign of when I'm doing these readings, and I'll tell you why. When I do private reads, before I get on the telephone, I like to see who am I talking to, what their strengths, what their weaknesses are. Um, so Aries, we're going to see what you need to work on your shadow side, the shadow side of Aries, March 1st to the 15th of 2023, it's flipped out inside the deck realignment. Okay. So this is your shadow side here, your perspective, new beginnings and awakenings. So I feel that it's the realignment. This is where there's supposed to be that change. And many of you haven't made that change. You've just been stagnant, if you will, when it comes to this movement forward and a relationship. It, there's the realignment. It does need to change. It needs to realign for you, Aries. Um, also, there's that perspective, awakening, and new beginnings. This is your shadow side. So this is what you're not doing. This is what you're keeping back from. So you need to allow this realignment to happen, this new uh, movement forward, this new perspective. The number is 36, if that means, if any of you are into numerology. Aries, if this resonated with you, please click like, share, subscribe. Uh, private readings, PetrellasIntuitiveInsights.com, listed in the link below. Those of you in the Pittsburgh area, I'm hosting a Mind, Body, Spirit event outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 
there's the information. Um, again, I just want to say, God bless you, Aries.